Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm vlogging. I don't think this is going to be a very long vlog. There's not much going on. It's already the middle of the day. Um, but I obviously want to get something up for you guys. I just finally got my Nordstrom package. Now, it's crazy because I had the tracking. I had got two emails from Nordstrom. And I just figured they mistakenly sent me two. I had no idea that it meant that the items that I purchased, I purchased two items, um, were coming separately because I never really fully opened the email. And I remember clicking on one and it said that I'd get it this week. And then when I clicked on the same, well, I thought I clicked on the same thing because I thought I just got the same email twice. It said I was getting it on um, Monday. So I was confused and I'm like, when I checked the tracking, I was like, what is coming from New Jersey? I don't remember anything coming from New Jersey. And it turns out that, like, one of the gifts came today. So I'm going to share with you guys what it is. It's for my mom. So, yeah, this is what I got my mom. It's all sloppy now, but this is one of the things that I got her because she likes to have just sweet. Well, she can have sweets because she's diabetic. So I just got her um, a thing from Nordstrom of gum. She doesn't chew all of it, but, you know, sometimes she needs, um, something sweet to boost up her sugar, and this is easier than most things, so I thought it was cute. It's small, and the other thing, I'll show you when I get it, so I'm gonna pack it right now into this little baggie and my tissue paper. People are always asking me what I eat. This is it. It might look like a lot, but it's really, really small. Small bit of rice. It just looks like a lot because I just spread it out. Beef stew with some potatoes and veggies because I love me some veggies. So, And if you're wondering what I eat, sometimes I eat this. Not all the time, but it's one of those occasions. I'm so sorry for this boring vlog today and poor quality but honestly I've been really drained out for the past couple of days and especially today I just crashed I've been like really drowsy today and um I don't know it's just a lot has been going on in my life good and bad but not really bad I would say just a lot of things in general and I just needed sleep you guys know that I'm an insomniac but Honestly, the reason behind that isn't because, oh, I can't sleep at night just because I'm always on my phone or whatever the case may be. Yeah, sometimes I can be it. But I, sometimes, if I'm free and if I have nothing to do, I tend to kind of fall asleep during the day and that's why I'm up all night. That's one. Or when I'm extremely exhausted and really, really tired, I cannot sleep for the life of me because I have opinions on the situation, but I'm just, I'm just telling you guys from my own experiences and my own situations so basically since I was a kid I've kind of like experienced being able to talk to spirits and stuff like that and I've never really mentioned it on YouTube or to people in general I think like two people know and that's about it but it was something I did as a kid it was never something that was like really serious and I would talk to my grandfather who passed right before I was born so I felt like that was my communication with him because I was the only one at the time who didn't know him. Um, over the years, I really didn't pay it no mind. But as I got older, things started happening again. Like, I would say within the past three years, like, I'd wake up. And this is when my insomnia started. Well, my insomnia started was, like, three years in the making, I guess. Um... I used to be always able to sleep and all this stuff, but now it's just been really, like, it started off a little worse. I used to wake up with, like, scratches on my arms and all this stuff. Like, I had, like, a, like this scratch here. It was, like, a huge scratch there, a deep cut here. It was ridiculously crazy, but I didn't really, like, think anything of it. Like, my mom, she cleansed the room and stuff like that. But more so recently, um, I guess it's, it's coming back. I don't know. I, this is the thing. And there's something in my room I don't know 
what it is exactly and I just don't want to go too into those kind of things because sometimes it can be dangerous I feel like it's no longer dangerous whatever it is just wants me to get a message across but I mean I wish they would do it during the day and not at night when I'm trying to sleep but the other day the reason why I decided to talk about it was because I like right now I was sleeping like taking a little nap and then I heard like like a gasp so I op like I opened my eyes because I thought like it was probably like my brother or something because he always sneaks in my room there was nobody here and I heard my brother talking outside the room so I was like okay so now I'm wide, wide awake and this is why I'm talking about it but about last week I think week last week or I think it was right before Thanksgiving which leads me on to a different situation that happened last Thanksgiving but I'll probably talk about that and if you guys want me to in like a different kind of like full on video about these things. I think it was last week. I, it was like 10 o'clock or something. I don't even know. I, I just know I knocked out. I know everything was on like my laptop and everything. But I was so tired. I don't know. I just I knocked out. Within like an hour. Well I felt like I was sleeping for an hour. I felt something like pull my leg. It wasn't even like a tap. It was a pull. Like my whole body shifted. And I was like, oh my god. After that, I couldn't go back to sleep. I really was tired, but I couldn't. But I don't really think it's something bad. I feel like whatever's in my room just wants a point, like trying to talk to me to get a point across. Like I said, I've looked up, like, symptoms of a medium. And my mom, when I was telling my mom, she was like, oh yeah, your grandfather had, like, similar issues. I'm like, you couldn't tell me that I was younger. Like, we could have figured something out. And I'm like, I used to be super into watching paranormal videos and like a haunting and stuff like that so I think watching that kind of caused even more of me being up probably but I don't watch any of that anymore but it's still been kind of one of those situations where it's it's not going away um I don't really want to get tested for those things because I don't really not that I don't want to believe in the fact that I could be a medium but at the same time I've always been that person who can predict certain things that, and I have deja vu a lot, especially a lot more recently. One of the symptoms and the thing, like you can basically know when somebody's going to say something or whatever. It's so crazy. And then lately I've been super, super obsessed with watching these tarot readings slash predictions and horoscopes on YouTube because you can look up that and I look up for the Capricorn 2015 December 2015 one hands down like once you want once you watch one video you're kind of like hmm like let me see if somebody else agrees and then like I keep watching and watching and watching and they've all said the same thing and I'm just sitting there like okay and then I watch the predictions for 2016 if they're on point if they're all actually true I'm gonna have a great 2016 and I hope so I deserve it but I don't know if you want me to talk more about my like I want to say paranormal experiences because that's kind of rude it's not really like that I mean probably one time but um I can sit down and do just a video solely based on like my experiences with talking to like I guess my grandfather as a kid and just things like that because I don't know I've always been kind of scared to talk about it because I feel like people think I'm crazy as it is and I mean I do kind of want to get married someday <laughs> and I feel like sometimes when you watch these psychics and stuff like that they're not married they're single and I'm like I don't want to be a psychic that's not my desire um, I don't mind having the ability but that's not what I want to do but yeah, so let me know in the comments below. I'm going to end this vlog right now.